Hey everyone, DJ Blue PDX, and I'm here with uh, Team Wolf Print, which is none other than Lobos Jr. and his waffles. Dreaded Cone, New Taff, New Taff or Top? New Taff, and of course, Arby Frosty. So, I, okay, first of all, I'm really, is there a Lobo Sr.? Yes, it's also me. Is that the one who eats pancakes instead of waffles? No, pancakes suck. Okay, so. Says the man with blueberries on his waffles. Okay. On there. Well, okay, it's because they're really good. By the way, if you have, as you saw earlier, Andy's just cooking up crazy stuff in the background. So let's talk a couple things. Uh, this is going to be weird because I've got people now behind me. Um, first of all, in your opinion as a team, let's talk about who you think the MVP was. And by my definition, because of course I'm one of those super respawn kids, I want to know who, re who, who revived people the most in this game. Definitely not me. Uh, <laughs> I. Yeah, I, I did lots of revivals. How many times did I revive you? Come on. Quite a few times. But that was because he was too busy killing. We were too busy killing one another. So, I mean. I should clarify. How many times were you revived What? because you were killed by enemies, not by each other? Oh, yeah. like new tap. Definitely. <laughs> That's what I got to do. The healer. All right. So, apparently, new tap wins for that one. So, in that, in that respect, then, who is the... Uh, who did you end up having to revive the most because of enemies? Dreaded come. What? Me? New Death died like a hundred times. This is my experience, man. He asked how many I re I had to revive, so. Uh, I feel like New Death. I, I think it was I me. Mean, I, I died a lot. Bus, I, I, I got run over by the bus a lot of times. New Taff uh, had the unfortunate luck to, to die kind of early, and we kind of left him behind in That's terms true. of gear, so the odds were stacked against him from the very beginning, whereas the rest of us never died enough to be re like auto-revived. He ended up getting auto-revived, so really, the three of us are scumbags for not saving him before he auto-revived and lost everything. So, sorry about that. So, okay, uh, now this your team had a really different approach to things. The first team was very... Uh, how should I say this? Very strategic about how they went about killing all of the enemies. And you guys were very much about, hey, listen, I want to see what happens when I punch you in the face with my sword. But yet, despite all of the crazy amounts of really awesome, and I got to say it was super awesome team killing, you guys beat them in kills. You you guys had a blast, and it was a fun blast and hilarious to watch, but you beat them in kills. So based on that, what? You know, there was a question here, and all of a sudden I lost it. Um, who, what, what was the biggest, what was the point? At what point did you realize this actual strategy is actually working? Uh, I think because I was killing other people, I was having more fun. And then I was able to play just more focusedly. And uh, Dreadicon sucks. What? Wow, rude. <laughs> I, I just, OP, please nerf. Like that was... <laughs> I don't know. I think I think we just went beast mode, and uh, we couldn't possibly get through the game without griefing each other several times along the way. But I don't think it actually slowed us down. I think we just we just killed it. I mean, we we're just that good. We had to take breaks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. It wouldn't have been fair if we were just like yeah. if we were like the way we were the last round the whole way through. Oh I just God. don't. I don't think it would have been. So you guys. Of kills. Yes. You guys had what? Two penalties. Two time penalties, and you still beat them. Oh, yeah. And you still beat them, which is amazing. Okay, so we have a few things to give away today right now with Team Wolf Brand. Uh, these are death certificates. So I would just like each of you to read your death certificate while I hold it, apparently, for you because you're still eating waffles. <clears throat> so. Uh, I, uh, I got a certificate of death for puking my guts out. Very good. By the way, do you guys like the puking? That's for you. Yes, okay. you get to hold it. Just don't get sauce on it. Did you like the puking feature? I loved the puking fe feature. I wish there were more ways that I could virtually puke in this life. See, and I'm really hoping for eventually a potion where you can like just projectile vomit, just and it just sprays everywhere. Yeah, it would be awesome. All right, dreaded cone. Uh, I hereby state that Dreaded Cone, member of Team Wolfbrandt, died on July 9th, 2016. Cause of death, stabbed in the back. So who do you think stabbed you in the back most? <laughs> it was absolutely Arby Frosty. <laughs> <laughs> All right. New Tef. Cause of death. An, an offer he couldn't refuse. What was the, what was the offer? That's my question. I don't, I don't remember getting... 
I didn't get anything. I just remember you Nobody proposition. And then just dying over and over. So maybe the like exploration. I don't know. I was looking for a great sword. I can't. I can't. Can't be helped. Were you possibly being offered things in the red light district? Uh, we we did go through there. A few times. Yes, a few times. He was promised a great sword. He was owed a great sword and promised a great sword and never got one. So. All right. And, <laughs> and finally, Harvey Frosty. <laughs> Died on July 9th, 2016. Cause of death, torn to pieces by a pack of wolves. Thanks. Thanks, Lobos. Very much appreciated. And uh, exactly how many times did that happen? I don't know, but the thing that I'm concerned about is when we had our final rumble, I was the last one standing. Last man standing. Nice. All right, well, we'll we got more crazy deathmatch coming up right here with Necropolis at Hyper RPG, but uh, let's talk about... What your favorite weapon was in the game? Well, obviously the great sword that Newtaf wanted. I mean, I'm all about great swords, so any any giant sword, that's all mine. Uh, I really enjoyed the hammer that I so graciously donated to Frosty, because I I didn't want you to grief me for the rest of the day. So I was like, fine, here's your peace offering, and then you know. But yeah, the the, the ice hammer was like 12 out of 10. D define offered. I, <laughs> I, uh, I, I just gave it to him because I, yeah. Because, because sharing, sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. There we go. All right. How about you? Uh, probably like that tier zero dagger that I kept having to pick up when I died <laughs> over and over again. No, actually, the hand axe was pretty cool. That was a you know fast swing. It's pretty nice. The frost weapons, specifically that hammer, so good. It just the thing that I loved about it was that super charge up attack, especially when you kept cutting the enemies right in front. So satisfying, absolutely my favorite. And the the, the one enemy that you absolutely hated having to, to go up against that was the hardest to kill. The dogs. I mean, it doesn't matter. Dogs in any video game that are enemies, it's just that's the answer. That's evil. No, they're evil. <laughs> well, I yes, I know, but it's you think puppies are great, don't crazy dogs are killers. Don't get me wrong, I love dogs in real life, but any enemy dogs. Especially Bloodborne dogs are the absolute worst of any video game ever, but they're typically all the time. I always find that if a dog is demon-possessed, it is generally hard to pet or come near, uh, so it is a little bit re difficult to reason with. I would agree. And worst enemies for you? Uh, the There was a, like a medium-sized enemy that would sometimes attack like 19,000 times in a row, and if you got caught in it, you're just super dead. So those guys really stressed me out. Because every other enemy was sort of predictable, but those guys, suddenly you would get hit nine times, you're just dead. So, yeah. Uh, the burrowing frogs would just constantly like unburrow on me and then reburrow on me, and I'm like, what is even happening? What the hell? Those things were ridiculous. I was well, like, what the hell is coming out of the ground? Spiked frogs. Yeah, well, you know, I spike my frogs once in a while, and it usually ends up becoming a psychedelic. Anyways, uh, let's see here. How are we doing on more information about this? I think we're getting ready to come back. So uh, without further ado, we're going to roll it right back to the hosts right now. Stay tuned. We've got more Necropolis coming up right here on Twitch.tv slash HyperRPG.